What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us. We've got another quick unboxing of a product sent for me to review from Nutrent Technology. It's called the iZen. It's an iPad case and battery uh, charging uh, device here for the iPad 2 and 3 as well as uh, smartphone charging capability right out of this case. So we're going to head open it up, see what we have in here. I've already taken the address off the package, so don't be looking for that because it's not here. We have a very well packaged box here, so we'll see what I can do about breaking this loose here without knocking over the tripod. Very well packaged. There we go. Open this up. Uh, here we go, the Aizen Powerfolio. Of course we have to pop these because it's fun. Here we go, for the iPad as well as the iPad, uh, well the two and the three, so the two latest devices at the iPad, it's a 14,000 milliamp hour battery. Of course, stay tuned for the full unbox or for the full review uh, where we'll dig into all of the specs specifically. This is just a quick look and unboxing video here. Of course, we do have some specs on the back. Extended battery life. Looks like we have built-in sleep-wake sensor similar to the smart cover from Apple. Tilt it to any position. Protection. Charges you to USB devices. Lightweight and slim. Really nice packaging here. Nice cardboard. Good graphics. And we'll see what's inside. See if they can keep that up. Actually, the box is in two parts. Got a piece of felt to keep things protected. It says lift here. And here we go. And wow, they are not kidding with the lightweight. Black uh, material here, it actually feels really nice. It's very similar to the smart cover with the way it uh, uh, is bendable and manipulable in three different ways there. Over here, some sort of uh, metal or plastic here. Looks like an aluminum finish with a uh, button and LED indicator there for charging. Also in the box, we have something marked cords with a USB symbol on it. We'll see what's in here real quick. Two things in that package, the first of which being um, what looks to be a 3.5 millimeter. It's not, it's the smaller mobile version. That's actually gonna plug right in here on the side of the case like that, giving us a powered USB port. So we can also charge our phone, camcorders, anything else that's charged via five volt USB. And in addition to that is a longer cable. This, uh, this goes to a male end, the other one was a female end. Uh, to the same connector here, looks like about a six inch cable to the male end of USB, and then this is the little female adapter to plug in, say, another sync cable and charge an iPhone. Also in the box, it says battery, and here's where a little bit of weight comes in with that rechargeable battery. Go ahead and cut the seals on this. Opens up like that, and here is the actual 14,000 milliamp hour battery. Huge battery, lots of power here. Got a couple specs on there, 3.8 volts, silver, obviously 14,000 milliamp hours. It's a Lion battery. And we'll see how that plugs into the case here somewhere. On that piece we saw a few minutes ago that uh, instructed us to lift up, we have a couple pictures here of, of exactly what should be in the packaging, how this all, how the battery fits into the case and whatnot. And then on the other side, we have some of the package contents, instructions, how to charge, how to charge other devices, charging the actual battery. The rest of the instructions are on the back of that paper. All right, it looks like that slides in here from the top. There's a little connector here that plugs into this uh, longer part, and that's what's going to supply the power for the iPad and uh, whatever else we should choose to charge from the case here. And then that's gonna cover up. I'll grab that iPad and we'll see what it looks like. The iPad drops right in like this and secures along the side in the plastic case. Looks like it fits really well. Talk about fitment for a quick minute here. We've got the cutout here for the sleep-wake button at the top, the camera here, of course, on the rear, and then a large cutout for the volume button as well as the silent. Uh, switch or the orientation lock, however you have that set up. Leaving just enough room behind the iPad there, you can see that's where the battery fits in. To charge the battery, we're gonna use one of the cases, one of the cables rather they provided. This is gonna go into your laptop or into the wall adapter that came with the iPad or an iPhone. And then this plugs into the side of the case like that as we talked about before. And then charging the actual iPad or another device would be this little adapter here, but we'll plug that in. And then use the included 30 pin connector included with an iPad or iPhone to go ahead and plug into the iPad. So this looks like it's gonna be an awesome uh, product here to travel with to be able to keep all your devices charged up. It's not that heavy, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the iPad. Uh, obviously it is a little bit being a battery that large that will charge these devices, I would assume, multiple times. So stick around for the uh, full review where we'll talk about uh, exactly how this works and give you a demo. That's coming in the future. Thank you to Nutrent for sending me this to review. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Nutrent iZen Powerfolio. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for that main review coming up next week. Bye-bye.